Hey everyone, Gary Simon of CourseCetro.com and I'm being a little bit quiet. I'm doing this late at night. I do not want to wake up the demon monsters known as my children. So um, right here, this is just a quick video that's going to show you how to use a carousel package for your Angular 2 Plus projects. This also works in Angular 4. This is based on Angular 4.2 project and here's a quick preview of it. This works on mobile as well. And right here is just a very simple use case where we just have thumbnails, although it will work with any type of HTML. All right, so again, this is based on ng2 carousalamos. I assume that's the pronunciation. Um, and uh, it gives you a little bit of information about how to implement it, but I'm gonna show you everything from start to scratch so you can get a better understanding of how exactly it works. All right, so let's get started. Oh, but real quick, before we begin, make sure you check out my site, CourseCetro.com, where you're going to find a bunch of courses on modern design and development. A lot are free, and the others you can access for the cost of buying me like a six-pack each month. That's it. Now, also, it probably wouldn't hurt to subscribe here on YouTube, and be sure to make sure the notifications are turned on. All right, let's get back to it. So I'm going to assume that you have all the prerequisites installed, like Node.js and the Node Package Manager, NPM. Um, and after you have that, if you don't, by the way, just go to Node.js.org and download it, install it, come back. Um, after that, you need the Angular CLI or command line interface, because that's how we're going to start the project. So the command to run that is npm install angular CLI at latest like that. I'm not going to run it because I already did. After you run that command, then we're going to access the CLI at ng-new. We're going to call the uh, project here car carousel. And we'll set our style to SAS just in case we want to use that. Now, by the way, I get a lot of questions about, you know, which um, console I'm using. Well, I'm on Windows, uh, so I don't like the default um, command prompt. So this is called Commander, or if I bring this down, you'll see the name right here, CMDER. And you can just find that, it's free. Just go um, to Google and type in CMDER and download it. So you can also style and custom create custom themes for this, which is what I have done. All right, so once it's done, we're gonna go ahead and CD into the new project. So CD Carousel. All right, and at this point, we want to install the actual carousel package. So we're going to run npm install, name is ng2, carouselamos, and save it as a dev dependency. Or sorry, not a dev dependency, but rather just a dependency. And then also, we're going to run ng-serve. By the way, I notice I have a space there. Let's see if that affected it. I don't think it would. And once it's up, we'll see it says, welcome to my app with go to localhost 4200. And I'm in the new project folder right here of Carousel. So we have to go to the source app and the app module to import the package that we just installed. All right, so there is a written tutorial that you can follow along linked here in the description of YouTube. If you want to be able to quickly copy and paste these lines in that I'm going to be doing here. So the first one is this line right here, which is MPA importing ng2 carousel module. Take this and copy and paste it as an import. So now all of our components or future components will have access to using this ng2 carousel. Now I keep on saying ng2, that's the name of it, but it will work for ng4 as well. All right, so the way we use this, let's just say for example, we want to go to our app component HTML. Go ahead and delete that. Hit Control-B to get rid of the sidebar. And the first thing we'll do is create a div ID of container. Next inside of here, we'll put div. And ng2 carousel lamos. And that's a directive. We're going to give it a class so we can access it if we wish um, through CSS. Then we have a series of property bindings down here. So the first one will be items. And this will be bound to an items object or array of objects essentially. And we're, we'll define that later on. Next one will be the width of the actual carousel itself. And this has to be in pixels, not percentages. Uh, next we have previous 
bound to a previous or prev uh, local template variable that's going to be defined within an ng template. We also have next. Again, this is just for previous and next templates. And then the actual item template. And then we close off the div right here. All right. Then we put in our ng templates. All right. So we're going to put in ng template prev. So we define the local template variable with a hash sign and the name. So that's what this is in reference to right here. All right. And Inside of here, it just makes most sense to use uh, for usability purposes, um, you know, like a, a left arrow or right arrow, et cetera. So this is going to be a left arrow right here. So we'll use image source equals assets images left arrow dot PNG. We'll give it an ID of left so we can access it later on. And so where is this coming from? Well, if we hit control B and we go to assets, I, by default, there is not an images folder here. I already created it. So make sure you create this images folder in here. And you want to have some sort of left arrow, also a right arrow as well. So the one I use um, for the example that I showed you is based on this right here. So the size, I think, it <clears throat> was more like this size right here. And you can just hit download PNG and use it. And there's also a right arrow version uh, somewhere in here. All right, so do that real quick. And just to show you the, uh, the folder right here, we have assets, images. We have a left arrow, a right arrow, and I have uh, six thumbs that we're gonna use uh, for the actual gallery. So I went to images Google and I, I filtered it by um, usage rights, um, commercial use, free to use. And I just uh, cropped these at 500 by 500 pixels. So it could be anything that you want really. Okay. Um, so after that, let's continue on. I'm going to take this copy and we'll just paste another one right here. This will be next. And this will be right. This will be right as, uh, as well. And then we also have our final ng template. I might as well just paste that. This is going to be called item. We're also going to add a, letter, a couple other things called let hyphen item and that's going to say that uh, the actual way we, we access the data through interpolation for an instance will be through item the name of item and then also let i equals index in case we wanted access to the actual index all right so inside of here this is where we put whatever it is that we want to repeat inside of um, the carousel. So I'm going to put in div class here equals items. And by the way, this doesn't have to be like a thumbnail gallery of any sort. It doesn't even have to be image based. Um, you can feel free to put any type of written uh, type based content if you wish um, in any manner that you wish and just style it with CSS. Um, but for our case, let's make it simple. I'm just going to put an image source. We're going to use an inter interpolation on the actual object or array of objects. So item.name. And this is really just going to be a URL similar to this. All right. And after that, we'll close that out. And that is it. Okay, so we'll save. Let's go ahead and define this items right here items object in the app component file. Okay, so right here in the actual class, let's get rid of this title property. We're gonna make one called items, and it's gonna be an array of any, like that. And then in the constructor, we're gonna put in this.items equals, and we're just gonna hard code an array, hard code an array of objects. Ordinarily, this could be coming from a database of some sort. So we'll say name will be assets. Really, it's not a name. It's a URL, but I was just kind of lazy. <laughs> I was going off the example. All right, thumb.png. Thumb 
Now we'll just take this. And I'll just paste it a bunch of times. I have six thumbnails. All right, that looks good. And I'll do it one more time just to repeat. And that's it. So let's save that. And then let's give it some actual style. By the way, if you looked at it in the browser, this is what it currently looks like. And it actually works. But how do we actually style it? So let's go ahead and check that out. We'll go ahead and reference our container ID with 100% margin 5 EM on the top and bottom. Auto right and left will center it. Padding zero and background will make white. Next, we'll have our items class. Now this items class is added to right here. So it's just like a wrapper around the image in case you wanted to add other stuff aside from the image. So this will be max width of 300 pixels. And this will let you define the actual width. If you try to use width alone, it will not work. So you have to use min width or max width. I found that out the hard way because we're working with Flexbox. Uh, height of 300 pixels and we'll say background will be EC, 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 but we're not going to see that though um, because these are all same size. So now it's coming together pretty well already. Let's just move the left and right or the previous and next buttons with margin pixels uh, of 30 pixels. All right, and then one final thing because I'm a little bit finicky, just to create some separation, we'll go ahead to our styles and just add body, background, EC, EC, EC. All right. And that is it. So like I said, this of course will work with other content that isn't just images. So just to show you real real quickly, if I go back to our <clears throat> our, uh, our component file, for instance, and I change this up real quick, I'm going to pause this and then just show you the change I made right here to the items array. Sorry, array. There we go. I changed it just to a bunch of names right there. Um, we'll go back to our app component HTML. Get rid of this here. And then we go back to our CSS real quickly, change max width to minimum width, save it. And maybe I'll just do one more thing. Font family, Arial, font size, 2EM. Um, yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. Save it and then go back and there you go. awesome stuff so you can make this of course look a lot better than that it looks ridiculous but yeah that is it so you know hopefully you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and it's able to help you out in one of those cases where you needed a carousel all right guys i will talk to you later make sure by the way to check out coursetro.com for more awesome tutorials a lot of angular specific stuff a lot of free courses as well all right see you later bye